Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, this is going to be a very special video. And what's so special about it, this video is, I don't know, two, three, four years in the making. Here, let me explain. If you remember, I've told this story a couple times. If you remember years ago, I bought two fun block sets from Walmart. And they were $5 each. One was an A-10 Warhog, just like this one. And another was that big super tank. And, you know, I put the super tank together and I started putting the warthog together, but really it was kind of complicated. Not super complicated, but more than I wanted to deal with that day. So I set it aside. The tank had its problems. One of the treads come broken. But for $5 for a, a brick set that big, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't go wrong, right? And go back and watch the video from years and years and years ago if you don't know what I'm talking about. So anyways, the A-10 warthog, I started putting it together and then I stopped. And when I mean I stopped, I mean I stopped. I took the thing, disassembled what I had, I left part of the wing together and the motors together, and then I stuck it in the big bin of miscellaneous bricks, and I moved on because I really wanted to build, I think at the time I had that mare's container ship I wanted to build. And over the years as I rummage through the different uh, totes I have of bricks, I keep seeing parts of that warthog. I say, man, that'd be cool. We got the Gatling gun on there and the amazing motors, and I should have built that. So I looked around, I couldn't find all the pieces. Hey, I couldn't even find the instructions. Well, I did finally find the instructions, but not after I bought another one of them, okay? So I went online, and I've been seeing it for sale for $30, $39, $29. I ain't paying that kind of money. I bought it in the first place for $5. Why would I pay that kind of money for it? Well, the price of bricks has gone up, even Chinese bricks. Obviously, they don't cost this much to make, but if Lego's selling a set for $50, these Chinese companies are saying, well, you know, we can sell ours for $30 or $40, so that's what happened here. So I finally broke down on Amazon and I bought another one of these. Now when you buy it on Amazon, it says Fun Blocks, just like the one in Walmart. When you get it at home, it'll say Jubilux on it. That Remember, they're kind of affiliated with Woma. We have another set we did from this brand. They have the yellow elephants are symbol. And then one of the Woma tanks, the Mammoth tanks, had both Woma's name and Jubilux on it. So anyways, I finally put this together and I am amazed it is very cool. Let me tell you some things I like and don't like about it. I like that it's amazing. This thing is big. Look at the size of this thing. The motors are cool. The tail is cool. All the guns and missiles and rockets on this thing is very cool. And they're very specialized pieces, which in the nose piece is specialized. You got that little, little the, the, the face and the, and the snarling grin on there or scowl. So and the teeth. It's, it's specialized, which is kind of cool because it makes this thing look amazing. And it's kind of uncool because... Those pieces can only be used for this or a design of your own. Design your own jet and use these parts. Maybe turn into a spaceship. I could see them rockets being used as a spaceship. Very cool. So anyways, I get the thing together and, uh, you know, I'm glad I did. It took years to do it. And then I had just put it together and the next day I was looking through something and I stumbled upon the original instruction book for this set when it was a fun block set when I originally bought it from Walmart. With all the specialty pieces that I still had for the set, didn't lose any of them, I could have come up with enough of the other bricks to actually build this without buying a new one for $39 or $34.95, whatever I paid for this one. There'll be a link down in the description section so you can check this out on Amazon for yourself. And if you like jets and combat jets and realistic combat jets like this, the A-10 Thunder, the A-10 Warthog, it is a tank buster. It's not the fastest jet. It's not made for a dogfight. It's made for close air support. You call in and say, hey, there's a tank coming down the road. We got to get them. They bring one of these things in and it blows it up. They are amazing. They're not the fastest jet, but they, they're amazing. The gun on this thing, look it up. Go to your YouTube box up there, type in A-10 Warthog, and you will be amazed at how thick the armor is on this thing and how many bullets this thing can take as it's blowing tanks up. It is amazing in real life. And I've seen these for years. And then even a while ago, and by a while, I mean several years ago, when I was in Alfreda, Georgia, a friend of mine took me down to the plant that built these. I don't know if it was General Dynamics or whoever built these at the time. The plant was shut down. They had stopped building these. They haven't built these in years. But he had a friend who used to work at that plant. I think he used to work at the plant too. And he took me to where these were built. Now, I didn't get to go inside, but I said, wow, that is the factory where they built the amazing A-10 Warthog. So, you know, that's kind of neat. All right, the wings are sort of flimsy. They need to have, I don't know, a better design. Maybe I'll redesign it, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just put some glue on it, I don't know. The missiles and stuff, they kind of want to fall off, so you gotta be delicate with it. But other than that, this is amazing. And what's, you know what I really think is most amazing about this? 
Yes, it's a brick thing. Yes, it's not super realistic. But if you look at this set, this airplane here, this jet fighter, and you know what an A-10 Warthog looks like, you will look at this and say, hey, that's an A-10 Warthog. That's what's so amazing about it. There is no question about what kind of jet this is. That's what's amazing. So this video was years in the making, and I finally broke down and bought it again for a lot more money. I should have respected it when I got it for $5. You know what they say? If you get something for a cheap price or if it's only a couple dollars, you won't respect it. But if you pay a lot of money for it, you'll take care of it and respect it. And respect it. Well, that is true because I didn't respect this for $5. I'm like, oh, this sucks and this comes apart. And, uh, and, you know, and the tank had a broken tread out of a package. That was a bummer. And I don't even have that tank. I think I gave it away. And I bought a replacement for that one, too. And the treads didn't come broken in the newer one. But still, very cool set. I should have respected it for five bucks, and now I'm kicking myself for the thirty-four ninety-five or whatever I paid for it. So yeah, but I'm very glad I finally got this together. And like I said, I'm kicking myself for not putting it together in the first place. I should have did it. Yeah, hey, that's just me. Live and learn, right? All right. So have you seen this set before? Either under the Fun Blocks name or the Jubilox name, or, or, or one of these other. I think I've even seen under the Brick Tech name. Bunch of Chinese companies. Either they're the same company with different names, or a bunch of different companies all selling this jet, and it's worth getting if you like military jets and you like collecting them. Remember, this is not meant to really be flying on your Brick aircraft carriers. This is a tank buster. So if you like tanks, that's why this is in the LEGO Tank Wars video series, because it's a tank buster. That cool. So... Have you had any of the older fun block sets from Walmart for $5? It really wasn't too long ago they were selling them for $5 at Walmart. Now, if this is at Walmart, they probably want $15 for it, but I haven't seen this at Walmart. So have you had any of those old, amazingly low-priced $5 sets from Walmart before? And were they cool, or did you have the same kind of problems I had with them? And really, there is no difference in the quality of this one and that $5 one. You know what the only difference is? Uh, I think at $34.95, the difference is $29. That's the difference. So, have you had any of them old Walmart ones for $5? Or the first time that you see this, did it cost $20 or $30 and you gladly paid that for that? Or have you never even seen this before? Or have you seen it and never bought it? Let me know how you feel about it. Because I'm kicking myself for not buying a bunch of these at $5 each. Even that tank with the bad treads. A friend of mine here on YouTube also bought one of those tanks and also had a tread issue and then contacted them and they sent him a new tread. Yeah, no problem. Probably cost them more to send that tread than the original five bucks for the set. But even these companies that have these low quality cheap sets that are falling apart out of the box will send you replacement parts. So it's not just Lego that does that. So leave your comments in the comment section. I asked you a lot of questions. Answer some of them if you can. Very cool set. Leave a comment in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.